Hey there, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Today I want to talk about off-grid inverters and grid tie inverters, and the difference between the two. In our industry, we really have two primary types of inverters, and to be honest, there's kind of a mixture in between. We'll call them a hybrid solution, and they're they're one and the same. But generally, you have basically off-grid inverters and grid tie inverters, and the difference between the two is primarily an off-grid inverter is going to connect to a battery bank. We call these kind of inverters grid forming inverters. So what is the grid? Basically the grid is what you run a common appliances off of, right? So um, it's an AC waveform provided by a municipal utility. It has an AC waveform with a, a voltage uh, that is suitable for running appliances, lights, TVs, you know, common household appliances. There can be obviously commercial grid as well, but uh, generally a grid forming inverter, like a battery based off grid solution, is capable of inverting from a battery bank to create a simulated grid. Now this could be 120 volts, uh, single phase, it could be a split phase, 240 volt output. In some cases, it could be a 208 volt three phase. There's all sorts of different options. But basically, a battery based inverter is taking DC voltage from a battery bank and forming a grid from that lower DC voltage so that you can run appliances and such off of it. Now, grid tie inverters. They are what we call grid following. So a grid tie inverter must see a suitable grid to be able to invert. And most grid tie inverters are inverting from a solar array directly. So they're taking a DC input from a solar array and inverting that to deliver the AC power to the grid, okay? Hence they're grid tied and they're constantly looking and observing the grid's input to assure that it's within standards and to a suitable quality so that it's safe to deliver that power. All grid tie inverters are specifically designed to qualify the grid and make sure it's suitable to be able to deliver power. If the grid goes down or is disrupted in any way, then the grid tie inverter will reject its output. It'll stop inverting immediately and it'll just sit there waiting for the grid to come back in a suitable way for a long enough period of time. By standard, it's five minutes. So what that means is if the grid goes down and you have a grid tie system, you lose your output power from the solar array. It becomes useless. A grid forming inverter, however, will be able to invert and create a grid. So there's hybrid solutions that utilize battery connect connections and can invert from battery. They can invert from solar array. They can deliver power to a grid and they can also back up a home. So these solutions are capable of grid following and grid forming. So they're able to observe the grid, disconnect from the grid, isolate themselves and provide power in the event of a grid outage. So they are kind of the mixture of the two, hence they're a hybrid solution. But generally, grid following, grid forming, and the mixture of two. If you have questions as to what kind of inverter you want for your particular application, and how to set up a solution using you know, any of the options there, as far as inverters are concerned, feel free to give our team a call. Our engineers can put a solution together for you and create a robust power delivery system uh, to either offset your grid consumption or to back up your home or to do both. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.